Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm your host Zoe Walters and today we are out in the wilderness. So the reason I am out in the wilderness today is because I'm doing another aerial silks video. I think the last one I did was like two years ago so this is pretty exciting. So yes I do still do aerial silks. I take classes now but I do like the just two aerial silks but yeah I know a lot of people have these at home because they're just more convenient so today I'm going to be showing you guys some cool tricks you can do on these bad boys um if you want to see some more I've already done a video it was it was quite interesting video but you know you can check that out um it's called like beginner yoga aerial silk hammock tricks or something like that I don't know it's like one of the first videos I've ever, I ever did but it got a lot of views you guys seem to like it so here we are doing another one so let's just dive into the video so today lads I'm gonna be doing a bit more advanced tricks I'll tell you if it's a bit more advanced or not but yeah the first trick I'm gonna start with is something that's just kind of fun it's not really that professional or anything but pretty much you're going to hold on one side, have probably your more dominant hand on the top and then your other hand on the bottom. Get a good grip. You need to have some, you know, upper body muscles for this and probably like put a mat underneath you before you do this. Like don't get injured. I'm doing this like above concrete, but it's fine. You know, I live life on the wild side. So pretty much what we're going to be doing is we're going to be swinging our body like through this and like sitting down you know like on here so here I'll give an example real quick Ta -da! this is just some fun way to like sit down it makes things easier to like sit on the seat if it's too high up and you have to like jump you know I just do this for fun so pretty much you're just like pulling yourself up swinging you take a few steps so you go like one two swing and then you pull yourself through the hole and sit down one two swing okay that one was kind of bad stepping one two up around and then ta -da. Ah. okay so that's the first trick trick fun little thing it's not really a trick it's kind of just fun stuff the next one is quite advanced so if you're like literally just starting, you can try this. Make sure you definitely need padding underneath you if you're trying this for the first time because it's kind of dangerous. So please don't do it over concrete. I've done this before, so it's okay. So you're gonna first, you're just gonna hop up into your silk. You're gonna just sit there and vibe for a bit if you want. And then you're gonna put your hands in a comfortable position where, wherever you want to turn yourself like this so you're like that way and you're gonna have your right knee or whatever is your dominant up like here my aerial silk teacher taught me how to do this trick so shout out to her then you're gonna put hand above your head the other one there like that and you're gonna take the foot that's down here so supporting yourself you're gonna take it off the ground and it may be a bit scary but you can practice just doing this, like holding yourself up sort of thing. There's a mosquito. And then you're gonna put this foot up here. Now, my foot's like diagonal. Don't put it straight on, because then it'll like you'll slip like that. So you gotta put it like that. Horizontally or like vertic um, not vertically, diagonally, whatever. Okay, and then you're gonna kind of push against the silk this looks super awkward right now but don't worry so you're pushing against the silk and then you're going to get the foot that was like here kneeing here you're going to put it underneath and go the other way with your foot so you're like doing a ballet sort of thing and then you're going to use your arms pull you up and stretch out like that so you're like doing a plank in the air you're going to push oh it's kind of hard to speak to you guys like that but you're going to push like your pelvis up and it's like you're doing kind of a reverse plank. So then pull yourself up, reverse plank it. And if you feel comfortable enough, you can let go of your arm 
and your other arm if you want. Oh, I probably don't recommend taking both arms off if you don't feel completely stable. It's kind of just like a fun kind of, it gives you a lot of strength sort of thing. Um, and it looks pretty cool, I mean. Ta-da! Next trick! Woo! So, I kind of did this trick before in my last video, but this is like an updated version of it. That's kind of like safer, more elegant, just nicer in general. So you won't really be able to see my face for this because we're going to be standing up. Okay guys, I'm sorry I'm kind of like turned around for this, but I need to be for this trick. So, what you're going to do is you're going to put your foot out like this. You're going to sew yourself like that. Then you're going to take him and cross him over, right? Like that. Now I'm just going to pivot around because the top of my silks would be crossed over too. So now that you have like this window and your foot kind of crossed in here, you're going to stand up. Sorry, you can't really see my face. Oh, hi. And then you're going to grab your other leg. That's free. Put it through and push your body through. So then, two hands on one side. And you're going to drop down. Oh. You may spin a bit, but that's normal. Once you're in this position, kind of hanging here, you're going to take the free foot. Push that one down. So it creates like a little foot lock for your other foot. Gonna take this, put it through, woo, and push your body through. <sighs> and you're kind of gonna sit there, and there's a little trick. You can like point your toes, look all elegant and nice, fly your arms around. And you can go again, you can twist again, like that way. I'm not going to because my silk doesn't have enough length. To undo this, you're gonna go the other way. So you're gonna like spin, spin around. And then to undo the last one, spin around again. And then you're free, ta-da! The very last trick I'm gonna be showing you guys today is one that's kind of just for fun. Um, I do this just cause it feels fun and kind of, kind of elegant and just like dancey. So you're gonna put it on, you know, just put your silk like this. I don't know how to explain it. And then you're just going to spin around and wind up your silk depending on how many times you want to spin. So wind it up nice, nice and tight. You're going to put your head on the other side because it's kind of weird if you're like, like this. It's a little bit awkward. And then you're just going to let go and like, usually what I do is I just like put one of my toes on like the ground and then spin like a little spindle or you can pick your legs up and just be like oh you know it's really fun because you can do lots of elegant like poses and stuff while you do this you can do it anyway and it's just like kind of exciting so i'll give you a few examples You can go upside down, you can do whatever you want. It's really fun when you're spinning. It does kind of take a lot out of you and you are very whoa at the end, so I wouldn't suggest doing it too many times. Uh, but yeah. Hello. Before you ask, yes, I forgot to film an outro for this video. And yes, I am filming this outro a week later. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love doing aerial silks and I would like to film it more so whenever I learn a new trick I can like teach the people of YouTube who want to learn um yeah so let me know what you thought of the video by leaving your opinion down below in the comments and I will see you in the next video bye